Hey, second graders, it's Mrs. Seals back for our next science lab. So we are starting a new unit in here. We finished up with what we call physical science, which was all properties of matter, energy, force and motion, all of that stuff. And now we're starting what we call earth science, which is we'll be talking about things like rocks and water. We'll be talking about weather. We will be talking about the sun and the moon and the stars and all of that fun stuff. So we're going to start out by talking about rocks. So your target says I can observe, describe, and compare rocks by size, texture, and color. So rocks are a solid mixture of minerals that was formed in the Earth's crust. So the Earth is divided up into different layers, and the outer layer where we are is called the crust, and the crust is made up of rocks. Rocks can look very different, and this is what we're going to talk about today are the different ways um, that rocks can look like they're the different colors they can be, the different textures they can have, and the different sizes they can be. And you're going to um, be observing some rocks, so you're gonna be looking very carefully at them. You're going to be describing them to the friends in your group, and also um, comparing them. So looking at two rocks and talking about how they're different or the same. So rocks can look very different. Here, I have little rocks, medium-sized rocks, and large rocks. So rocks can definitely be different sizes. Some rocks are as tiny as a grain of sand. That's all sand is, is just tiny pieces of rock. And they could be as large as what we call a boulder, which is a very, very, very large rock. Rocks can also be different colors. Here I have some white rocks, some grayish black, some brown rocks, and what we call some speckled rocks. I, in the science lab, even have some rocks that are um, red. I have some rocks that are blue and yellow, even some that are pink and purple. So rocks can be any different color. Another way that rocks can be different is they can be different textures. And remember, we talked about texture earlier in the school year. Texture is how something feels. So rocks can be bumpy, like this one here. Rocks can be smooth, like these here. Or rocks can be very rough. Some rock, most rocks are hard, but there are even some rocks that are softer and so soft that they can be kind of chipped away at just by using your fingernail. So rocks can be very different. If you are at home, what you could do to participate in this activity is you could go on a rock hunt, make sure you have a parent's permission. You could go in your backyard, go for a walk around your neighborhood, start a little rock collection, and um, sh you can show me what you found. You can take a picture and email it to me. Here's my email address. Um, you could choose a rock and describe its size, color, and texture. You could have two rocks that you could compare and tell me how they are different or the same. Remember that this is just optional. Um, Science Lab is not required, so you definitely don't have to do that. Just a little something extra for you to practice observing and describing and comparing rocks. So the kids here in the Science Lab, at each of their tables, they're going to have a tub of different rocks and you can see I have some rocks that are gray. I have some rocks that are like a reddish brown. I have black rocks. I even have um, blue and pink. I have all different colors of rocks. So I'm going to choose a rock and I'm going to choose this one and um, I'm going to look very carefully at it and I'm going to tell, I'm, gonna, I'm going to describe it to you. So I would say that this rock is medium size. It's not tiny because like I said, some rocks can be as small as a grain of sand. It's definitely bigger than that, but 
it's definitely not a, what we would call a boulder. It's not a large rock. So I would describe it as medium size. Um, the shape of this rock is interesting. This, this rock is almost like a square shape, which is interesting to find a rock that's almost exactly a square like this. Um, the color of this rock is mostly gray. It might be hard for you to see. I can also see a little bit of brown and white and some black in this rock, but it's mostly gray. And then the texture of this rock is interesting too. It's definitely hard, but it's also very smooth. It's a lot smoother than some other rocks that I have. Okay, so I've described, I've I've observed and described a rock. Now I'm going to choose another rock so I can compare the two rocks. So I chose, I'm going to choose this one. I don't know if you can see it, but this rock is really cool. It's one of my favorite rocks that I have. So I'm going to compare them. So what that means is that I'm going to tell you the ways that these two rocks are different and the same, okay? So one way I know that these rocks are the same is they're, they're almost the same size. They're not exact, but I would say that they're both medium-sized rocks. Again, they're not as tiny as a grain of sand, definitely not as big as a boulder. So one way they're the same is that they um, are the same size or similar size. These rocks are definitely not the right, the, the same shape. I told you this rock is a square. This one, I don't even know how we would describe its shape. From here, it kind of looks like a triangle, but as I turn it, it looks like different shapes, right? Definitely not a square though. So they have different shapes. I told you this rock was mostly gray with a little bit of brown and white and black in it. This rock, I don't know if you can tell, but it's really cool. It has almost like a light bluish color in it and some white. So that is one way that these rocks are different is they're different colors. And the last way that these two rocks are different is that they are different textures. I told you that this rock was very smooth. This rock is not smooth. This rock is very lumpy and bumpy. Wow, so I have found two rocks that are very, very different from each other because that's important to remember is that rocks can look very different. Here's a rock that's like a reddish brown color. This rock is black, but it's a very shiny, smooth black. I even have this rock that is yellow. And this rock is softer. I can kind of chip away at it at my finger. Um, let's see, I have a light pink rock. I don't know if you can tell. It looks white maybe on here, but it's like a light pink color. I have this rock that has some kind of goldish specks in it. I don't think it's real gold, but they're a gold color. And also what kind of looks like a turquoise color. And this rock is very cool. This rock is called pumice. And you, you won't be able to touch it because you're at home, but this rock is very lightweight and it's also very scratchy and rough. So again, rocks can be very, very different. It's very fun to observe and explore rocks. It's also very fun to compare rocks and talk about all the different ways that they are similar and different from each other. I hope that you will be able to participate in this activity at home. Again, I would love to see what rocks you have or what rocks you can find. I would love to hear you um, tell me about them and describe them and compare them to each other. Hope that you had fun learning about rocks and I will see you next week. Bye guys.